springtime here in the Wasatch and probably other places as well. So it's time to talk about some sharp pointy things that we're gonna be carrying with us in the backcountry. And one of our favorite items that goes in the uh, springtime ski touring pack every time we go out is the Petzl Leopard LLF uh, crampon. That stands for, I think, Lever Lock FIL, whichever, whatever that means. But this is an awesome crampon. It's about the lightest crampon um, you can find that is still usable for real world applications. It's not just a schemo a race crampon to put in your pack to satisfy a race checklist. Um, this crampon I'd say is the variant or the model of the leopard that you want if you are ski touring. They make a couple of different ones uh, that has like a uh, toe, um, more like a strap over the toe or like a hybrid that I think uh, either it straps on one side and locks on the other or something. Anyway, you want this one if you're ski touring. And Danny can attest to that because he has the, the hybrid that will work on both mountaineering boots without a toe welt and ski boots. And it's just too much straps to deal with on a daily basis. These are so nice because they fit perfectly on your ski boots, locks in the back, stays very secure. You never have to bother with tightening, loosening straps or buckles or making sure you know which way the webbing uh, is supposed to crisscross. And they pack up super, super compact and store in your pack and they feel like nothing at all. These crampons are five and a half ounces or like 150 grams each, which is, which is nothing. And that is what you want in a, a piece of equipment like this because you never are making ex excuses not to bring them. It's just easy to put them in your pack, shove them to the bottom and you'll forget they're there because they uh, weigh so little. Now this, uh, style crampon, the Leopard, is a little unique because it does not have the metal uh, centerpiece here. It actually uses Dyneema cord, which I'm told is stronger than steel for its weight and indestructible. And I will say that over three solid seasons of use, I have not had to replace the cord. I have not had any damage. I mean, they're a little dulled, they're scratched, but uh, I'd say they've held up pretty well. For your average uh, mountaineering, maybe doing Rainier type expeditions, something bigger, uh, where you know you're going to be abusing them on rock, maybe ice, um, I would maybe suggest something a little more durable. In fact, they make a variant of this that has a steel uh, toe piece. I think it's called the Irvis Hybrid. That's probably the crampon I'll buy next, just because I can use it for even a more um, wide ranging applications. But for everyday ski touring, spring ski touring, when you're just, uh, you know, boot packing up uh, steep um, couloirs in the morning when the snow is very firm, these do the job and they do the job very well. So quick demo, you know, it's just your standard crampon, step in crampon with one little lock on the back, it has a little strap so that, heaven forbid, if, you know, it slips off, it's not gonna go tumbling down the mountain, never to be seen in the abyss. Uh, these cords here, these Dyneema cords, the pro tip would be the first time you set them up, set them up so that it feels too tight. Like you have to, you know, like, You'll be, you'll be snapping it on the first time and you're thinking, this is way too tight. They should be a little looser. That is what you want to feel because they will set the first time you take them out and the first time you boot pack up or, or climb with them. After they've kind of set in place, and I don't know if it's just an initial stretch or just kind of they, they set in all the grooves, I have not had to adjust them or change them from the, the little uh, you know, adjustment notches in three years. So Dyneema, I guess, is pretty cool stuff. But uh, we'd highly recommend the Petzl Leopard Crampons.